Hey, what's up guys? Philip here bringing you another review and today we're going to be checking out this keyboard by Apcon Core and it's called the K660 Arc. So if you're not familiar with Apcon Core, they're pretty big in Korea, but here in the US they're not too big or well known. However, they do make a lot of various peripherals for computers and that's things like mice, headsets, computer cases, and of course keyboards like this. Most of their keyboards run roughly in the range of uh, $30 to $240 and this keyboard here is $50. I did review their most expensive and premium keyboard in my last video so if you want to check that video out I'll leave a link down in the description to that video. So before we continue on with the review of this keyboard a quick word from the sponsor of this video. Sparkify is a website that pulls in giveaways from all over the internet and brings them into one place. So instead of running around the internet looking for the best giveaways out there Sparkify brings them into one place for you to cherry pick which giveaways you want to enter. So if you want to win some free stuff, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can create your Sparkify account to win some cool giveaway prizes. So when receiving this package, you're going to receive the keyboard which connects via USB regular A cable, a keyboard cover that will help you store or travel with the keyboard if that's something you wish to do, a key remover tool which will let you customize the keys or pull them out to clean, and speaking of cleaning, it also does come with a cleaning brush which will allow for you to do a deeper clean behind the keys on the keyboard and last but not least a user's guide manual that will show you how to use some of the lighting effects and functions of this keyboard which we'll be covering a little bit later in the video so first impressions with this keyboard was the design language and it was definitely more on the aggressive side and the reason I found it to be a little more aggressive was because of this a uh, pretty aggressive cutout here on the top, which is pretty cool. I've never seen this uh, unique look on a keyboard before. And another thing that really stood out to me was these RGB lights on the side, which do look pretty cool because they kind of arc up and it creates this uh, really cool looking effect when the keyboard's laying on your desk. So in terms of the material of this keyboard, this thing is made fully of plastic and it's not exactly a cheap feeling keyboard. I would say it's uh, on the more durable side when it comes to the materials. And the cutout here at the top of the keyboard is is made of an acrylic material that lights up with some RGB lights that are built into the keyboard right next to the glass. And these lights can be customized using shortcuts on the keyboard, which we'll cover a little bit later in the video as well. The cord is made of a fully braided material, which doesn't feel cheap, so I wouldn't be worried about this thing kind of breaking over time. Now, in terms of the bulkiness slash slimness of this keyboard, I would say it's more on the medium-ish side. I'll leave the specs on the screen here that you can see. And with this keyboard, it does kind of look kind of more like a traditional keyboard, but what really makes it stand out from a lot of the other mechanical keyboards is the cutout and the light on the side. And I think that's what makes this keyboard really special. So for the size of this keyboard, you're gonna notice that it has a number pad, which makes it a 100% keyboard. And when, keyboard, when people call keyboards 100%, that means they have everything that a keyboard could possibly have, which is the number pad, the function keys, and the media controls built into the keyboard. So you're gonna get all of those features. So before we cover the key switches, I do wanna point out some of the accessories that the keyboard came with. And it did come with a key puller tool which will let you pull the key out and clean behind the keyboard or you can clean it using the cleaning brush that it also came with. So I do like that the, you know, they included some of these extra accessories that you don't have to purchase uh, separately. So now let's cover the key switches. So this keyboard here is using the blue switches which are the clicky loudish ones and these loud ones are really cool because the typing experience is really nice on them and a lot of people prefer that like tactile feel when you click and you feel like that little bump slash tactile feeling and those are really cool for sure and I would recommend those for pretty much anyone that's looking for a mechanical keyboard definitely get the blues but there it kind of is a downside of the blues and the biggest downside with the blues is that they're a little bit on the loud side and if you're in an environment where you can easily distract people and they'll get upset with you then it might be not worth be getting the blues just because of that and you know it's not really fun annoying people. So here's a little typing test for you to gauge what this keyboard actually sounds like and how loud it actually is.
So overall, the key switches do feel nice when typing on them, and I also like how comfortable it is. And the reason they're pretty comfortable too is the keys kind of have this angle to them, which lets your fingertips rest easier on them, which creates for a more ergonomic typing experience. And another thing that adds to the ergonomic typing experience is the legs that are adjustable on the back of the keyboard. And that's gonna prop up the keyboard a little bit for you so that you know, you can have that more comfortable typing experience. So now that we covered most of the things about this keyboard, let's talk a little bit about the RGB lights. So the RGB lights have quite a few different settings that you can kind of play around with. So the first thing you can do is switch around between 13 different patterns. And the way you do switch between patterns is simply by holding the function key and then pressing the mode key, which is right next to it. You can also adjust the pattern speed by holding the function key and clicking the left or right arrow keys. And that's gonna adjust the speed. And there's five different speed levels, which goes starts from slow and then goes fast. The brightness is also adjustable, which is the function key plus arrow key up or arrow key down and there's also five levels that you can adjust and the last lighting setting you get is the side light and that is customizable by holding the function key and then pushing the control key which is right next to it. And with the side lights, you do have a few different glowing options. You can switch between solid glowing patterns or you can have this like RGB rotating light which creates this like rainbow effect. So it's pretty cool that they have a lot of lighting options and the side light color is also gonna reflect the color of this plastic uh, or acrylic piece up here. So whatever the side light color is, that's gonna be the same color up here. So with all that being said, is this keyboard worth picking up? Well, the biggest thing this thing has going for it is that the price tag is $50 and for mechanical keyboards that's a pretty good price because if you're not familiar with mechanical keyboard prices they most decent ones range in the range of like $80 plus this one here is $50 and I would definitely put it pretty high up with a lot of those like 80 plus dollar keyboards this keyboard is definitely a quality typing experience the build quality is nice and me personally, my most favorite thing about this keyboard is the design language. Like I said earlier, I love this cutout. It has this aggressive look and the side lights with the arc kind of how it kind of goes up at an angle. That also looks really cool on your setup. So if you're interested in picking up this keyboard, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below where you can pick this thing up. Also, if you want to know what's happening in the tech world, I review all types of stuff like keyboards, mice, headsets, and a lot of other things. So if you want to stay in the loop on what's happening, make sure you click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.